Seven Star Superior is back for its second and last time in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, we will cover two of the best builds to help you solo this mightiest mark Pokemon easily in game before it's gone. Before we get into the battles and how the strategies work, we should take a look at how these Pokemon are built so you can have the full benefit from this video. The first build we are covering is Venomoth. As always, the builds on this channel, all Pokemon we cover will be level 100 and hyper trained so their IVs are set to 31. Venomoth is available in the base game, so no need to have the DLCs to have access to this strategy. Also has a four times resist to grass type attack, so it's perfect going against superior with its bug and poison typing. The Terra type here is Poison and the Shell Bell as the held item for a line of recovery throughout the raid. The moveset is Morning Sun, Skill Swap, Acid Spray and Sludge Wave. And just a quick note that Morning Sun is an egg move. So if you're using this, get a Mirror Herb item and put it on a Pokemon that knows this move. Put them in a picnic and it will transfer over to Venomoth. I do have a guide on transferring moves on the channel if you want to take a specific look at those mechanics. The EV spread is 252 EVs in Special Attack and 120. 28 EVs in both of its defense and special defenses with a modest nature. The ability here is Wonderskin, quite an important one. Now the raid's going to start off with the superior using Sweet Scent. With the Wonderskin ability though on the Venomoth, it does have a 50% reduced accuracy. So as you can see here, one of the benefits of this ability means that it doesn't get that 100% accuracy boost throughout the rest of the raid. The first turn after that, you're going to go for the skill swap. Iron Tail is going to be boosted this turn by the Intimidate user on our team. So sometimes if you don't have an Intimidate user, it's not going to be hitting as hard. But don't worry about that so much because that Intimidate will start to cycle throughout the rest of this raid and it will reduce the attack power on the Superior. Next turn, we're going to, after that skill swap, just go for an Acid Spray. You want to try and get three of these off as soon as possible, not only lowering the Special Defense by two stages on the Superior every time you use it, it's also getting you to the point before where you can terrestrialize and then up the damage output from the Venomoth. Just keep an eye on your HP when you're going through these next few stages. If you are getting in danger of getting knocked out, just use a Morning Sun, just recover some of that health off. Just fire off the Acid Sprays though, as you would normally in any other situation. You will be recovering health as you go, but like I say, just keep an eye on your health. You don't want to get knocked out unnecessarily in this raid, but the Iron Tail now not doing too much damage as we get closer to that third and final Acid Spray that we need for this initial setup. And that takes the Superior down to minus six special defense, like we've already mentioned. Now we're ready to terrestrialize the next turn and fire off a Sludge Wave, which is going to do some big damage. And this is what we're looking for. That first step where it nullifies stats and abilities on our side of the field is going to fire off a Breaking Swipe, of course. But because we're a special attacker, it's lower on our attack. So not really going to affect us too much in this raid. And we are now, after this, going to be ready, like I say, to go for that terrestrialization and go for that big, powerful Sludge Wave. And we do have that minus six special defense now set up on the superior, which is great. So there we go, doing some nice big damage and making some good progress in this raid. And there's only going to be one step after this. The next stage that we're looking for is that shield going up, which we can see now. And the superior will nullify stats on its side of the field. It hasn't done that just yet. But that's the next step that we're looking for before it does that. Of course, we're going to be able to fire off at least one sludge wave to get more benefit from that minus six special defense on the superior because once it does nullify the stats on its side of the field, of course, then we just need to repeat this process of going for those acid sprays once again. And there you can see, remove those negative effects from its side of the field. Hitting a bit harder with those iron tails, but because we've still got the contrary, we get a defense boost for its trouble. And now we just need to fire off three acid sprays and then finish up the raid with those sludge waves. So it's spray number three. So we're ready now just to close this raid up. Like I say, it's very straightforward with that final sludge wave that's going to be able to probably two or three of them is going to be enough to close it down. You're going to see the standard glare come out at this point in the raid as well. It will paralyze one of the target Pokemon on our side of the field. Thankfully for us, it's not our Venomoth. If you're worried about that, when you do get paralyzed, you can go for a heal chair just to get rid of it, but it's not really necessary. And with 50% of the raid timer still left, we're in such a good position just to close this out as quick as possible. Like I say, probably three to close this up completely. 
And with one more sludge wave, with 50% of the raid timer left, you are easily able to take down this superior. And like I say, it's a great way to farm Herba Mystica over the weekend while this event is running. Del Fox is going to have a fire typing. It's going to have the Shell Bell as its held item for that line of recovery. The moveset is going to be Nasty Plot, Skill Swap, Flamethrow and Overheat with the ability Blaze. And its EV spread is going to be pretty straightforward, 252 EVs in HP and in special attack with the remainder put in special defense and a modest nature. So with the Del Fox on turn one, we're going to go into the raid and use skill swap. We are going to see the Intimidate fired off. If you've got an Intimidate user on your side of the field, it will give an attack boost to the superior. But once you've taken away that contrary ability and we've obtained it, any of those Intimidates for the rest of the match will mean that they're dropping the attack stat on the superior, kind of keeping those attacks in check. Next turn, we're going to lock in with an overheat. Now we've got the contrary. We're going to be able to boost our special attack by two stages opposed to dropping it. And that's what we're going to utilize in this initial setup before we're able to terrestrialize in this raid. Now, the caveat here is if you do get hit with a gastro acid, don't use the overheats. Use your flamethrower to get to your terrestrialization. And then you'll have to rely on nasty plot to boost your special attack in the rest of the raid. It is a lot quicker if you don't see the gastro acid, but there are going to be situations where you come into the raid if you're using the Del Fox where this will happen. Turn two, of course, we use that overheat once again. It takes us a plus four. We're going to see the stats and abilities nullified on our side of the field, probably after this next one on the superior. This takes us to plus six special attack, which is great. But like I say, in the initial setup of this raid, it will nullify these stats, take them away. So we'll have to repeat this process. But the big important key here is that we're close and able to terrestrialize this next turn, which is the main thing in the raid. We are going to see the shield set up on the superior. That's fine. And it should follow this up by resetting our stat boost on our side of the field, which we do see here, although the text isn't fully clear on that message. But we will see the breaking swipe come out because our ability has been nullified. We do take the attack drop, not going to affect us too much in this raid. And now we are at the point where we can terrestrialize, which is the main important thing. So we're going to lock in with that. And then we're ideally going to go for three more overheats. That's going to boost our special attack again, like we've done before by two stages every time you use it till we get to plus six. And then we're going to close out the raid with either the overheat if we've still got the contrary intact. And this is the third and final overheat that we'd need after it's reset our stats. This will take us back up to plus six. And now we're going to be in the position to just close this out with the flamethrower. And one final flamethrower is all you're going to need. And it's as easy as that. You can see the raid timer just below 50% here and enough to take the superior down. So a very good option if you've got Delphox to also farm this event over the weekend to get those Herba Mystica drops while the event is running. We also have two other builds on the channel for Surviper and Galarian Slowking. If you want to check those out, they'll be linked down in the description below. And if you found today's video useful and enjoyed the builds, please do drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the event over the weekend, and I'll see you in another video very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.